Hey, thank you guys for having me. I'm super excited to be here. Um, so just have a quick insider information for you guys on what you can expect this year. Um, and then I reached out to some of my other buddies and I have some more info to share from them. So more on that later. Uh, first, I do want to introduce myself. Hi, I'm Maggie. And I like coaster hair. <laughs> and memes. But it's also, uh, you know, I noticed that it's a good progression. The hair's gotten better as, as time has gone on. Um, and this is my son, actually, who's in this first photo. Um, he is available if you would like to borrow him to ride the Great Pumpkin Coaster. Um, I know that's a big thing that you guys want to do, so just let me know. Uh, if you would like to reach me on Twitter, this is my Twitter handle. Um, be, feel free to tag me if you guys are sharing anything today. And if I can, I just need two more people to follow me to hit a thousand. So please go follow me real quick. Um, and yes, hi, it is me. I am the one that has been the bearer of some bad news. I'm sorry, but I promise it's not all bad. We do have some fun. Greg, come along. We've got uh, the Captain's Catch, Paradise Pizza, Beachside Bowls, and the Sandbar for some nice craft beers and cocktails. Um, we've got Pub Fair, Flatbread Pizzas, and then sort of the Garlic Noodle and Asian Noodle style bowls. So what does it look like down there? Uh, not much has really gone on, I won't lie. <laughs> they have removed the structure. Um, you can see in the top left, left photo that Soxy Splash House is completely gone. There is some uh, supports left. Um, and then the bottom right is looking at Sand Dune Lagoon and the side of uh, Lighthouse Landing. The construction won't really start just yet. They'll start a little bit later this spring. Um, we'll be covering all of that on our blog, so feel free to tune in uh, and, and see all the new progress. Uh, and something new for pass holders. So does everybody here have a season pass? Is that safe to assume? Okay, you're gonna wanna come back more and more and more because you may have learned about pass perks last year. We're taking it to another level um, and improving upon, we listen to your feedback, taking some of that and really applying it to the benefits that you guys will get. So in addition to being entered into our monthly lucky drawings, um, 
based on the number of times you visit. Uh, you'll also be able to come to more exclusive events and previews. This isn't just preview day in the beginning of the summer, I mean the spring. Uh, we're going to be doing more events throughout the season, more previews, so that you guys can really come out and see firsthand um, what we've got in store. There will be monthly freebies and perks, so whether it's, uh, I don't know, I'm spewing this off, maybe a buy one, get one treat or something like that. So think in terms of that. And then double point dates, where certain days that you come to visit, you'll get double the visit count. So lots of opportunities. And some other fun things that we've got going on. Intimidator celebrating, celebrating its 10th birthday! Double digits, you guys! We did it! So we will be celebrating. We are still uh, finalizing some of the details, so stay tuned on that. We open on March 28th, March 22nd. We do have a pass holder day, so do come out and uh, see what we've got going on. That's all I've got from the King's Dominion side. So like I said, I did reach out to some friends. So let's take a quick plane ride over to King's Island and take a look um, at some of the info that they've shared about the progress on Orion. So when Orion opens on April 11th, uh, King's Island, it will be one of seven giga coasters in the world with a first drop of 300 feet at an 85 degree angle. It will be distinctive to King's Island with the ride that taking advantage of the topo topography of the land, um, and it's going to be an absolute incredible ride experience. I can't wait to try it. And you may have seen that uh, the lead car for Orion was unveiled in November at the annual IAPA trade show convention. And I'm happy to report that all cars have been delivered to the park and are ready to begin testing in March. And uh, here's some recent construction photos. Uh, the site development and ride control systems are progressing well and on schedule. Um, they've had great winter weather so far, so perfect for building this massive steel roller coaster. Prior to its opening on April 11th, um, they will have a first riders auction event that will benefit a kid again. It will be held on April 9th from 6 to 9 p.m. Um, if you want some more info, you can head over to the Kings Island website. It is the first rider auction benefiting a kid again. Yes, got that right. Sorry, I lost place in my notes. Uh, there is a steady stream of Orion construction updates and other park news available on the Kings Island blog. Uh, it will be your number one source for the latest Kings Island news, notes, and information. Here's some info on the First Riders auction and the Kings Island blog. Um, and there is, just a heads up, mark your calendars, April 9th is media day for Orion. And you may have heard that ACE members are invited to attend the event. Um, provided that you are an active member of ACE by December 31st, 2019, uh, no exceptions will be made. You, if you're a member before then, you're good. If not, I'm sorry. Don't blame me, I'm, not, I'm the messenger. Um, the registration form will be published mid-February with registration ending at a yet to be determined date in March um, and maybe sooner if they do reach capacity for the media day. Thank you. We have a question. for platinum pass holders that will be beneficial to us that the gold pass holders will not have because it seems like lately that they we haven't really gotten that many additional benefits as opposed to what the gold pass holders have. It may depend, I'm not 100% on specifics for platinum pass holders, um, but it may depend on where your home park is. Um, the, the benefits may differ from park to park, but I know that if your home park is KD, those will be like the main benefits for that. Okay, all right, and then the other one, you may not be able to answer this, but with the loss of Volcano and the Crypt, are, can we be assured that nothing is gonna be happening to Avalanche? <laughs> it's funny, I have, I have heard that a lot. <laughs> Please not Avalanche. I have not heard of anything. Avalanche
Avalanche is alive and well, and I am glad because it is one of my favorite rides. It's still there. I saw it yesterday. <laughs> but not today. So obviously you're not going to tell us what's lurking in the jungle, but should we be looking out for anything in that soon, mid-year, like what is sort of the timeline that you're thinking jungle-wise? I mean, I don't know, you saw something lurking in the jungle and Jack Black was pretty scared. So, I don't know. You might just need to keep your eyes and ears open. Is there a Cedar Fair policy against showing hands up on a roller coaster? I'm just curious because I've seen all of the promotional materials and no one ever holds their hands up on a roller coaster. It looks kind of strange. This First might pain you guys. It's manufacturer guidelines. That's proper riding posture. <laughs> Sorry. It's the same, same we do in the US. It's like it's always hands down. Since Kings Dominion and the parks are members of IAPA, that is IAPA's policy that proper writing procedures be used with their hands on the restraint. So it's about following IAPA and the manufacturer's guidelines. Oh, that's why you don't belong to IAPA. Right, I'm fine. Is there an announcement on whether the food truck port is going to be on the uh, dining plan? <laughs> the food truck's on the dining plan? It is. So you've got a lot of options. Um, we are going to soon roll out kind of a overview of what is on the dining plan just because things have changed. So we do want to make sure you guys know what you're getting with the dining plan and just really the full value of it. Could we see any other menu changes to other restaurants with the new restaurant? Like, like with Country Kitchen, could we see like a new menu item there, even though we get it, we're getting a new restaurant? Yes, the chef does have some, some good ideas. So I don't know if, the, if all of his you know wishes have been fulfilled and are official, um, but I do know just based on that how he's talking, not just the quality, there might be some additional items, um, some more signature items as well. Um, are you guys relocating Panda Express? No. How are they going to, are they going to send an email or something to the pass members to let us know about all these changes and new benefits and stuff? With the new path parks? We will, um, I think once everything, they're still working through a couple like specifics on like what exact offers you're going to get each month. So I think once we wrap that up, we, at least on the social side um, and on the blog and on the website, we'll be communicating what those offers are. With the downfall of Panda Express, what are the chances of Chick-fil-A being gone? I have not heard anything. <laughs> Do you know if there are any attractions getting new paint this season? New paint. Um, actually, yes, and we are working on a uh, kind of a documentary of the progress. So there are a couple. I won't name them. You may have seen it happening in the video, but only if you're paying attention. Anything else? Hold on, I'm going to move over here because I know that I can hear better over here. Say that again. Obviously this year you're doing work with the water park. Next year or two would be the jungle area. Are there any long-term plans to look at other parts of the park that would be revitalized in the future or is that just too far down the line? I can't tell you what's happening past this year. Coconut shores are bust, y'all. Anything else? I heard last year that they were retracking and Racer 75. Did they really go through and finish retracking that or no? Was that a no-go? If I heard you correct, something about are they still retracking Racer yeah, 75? I, yeah, I heard last year that they were retracking this year. I don't know if there was any I don't know of any additional progress based on what happened last year. 
they may have done all they had done. I, we can look into that. Maybe that would be a fun piece. Would you want to see that on social if it was happening? Yeah. Not yes. Okay. I was just wondering if there's anything being done with the drop tower to address reliability, because I know most of the times I've been there this year, it's been down. Uh, I was just wondering if that's something that's being addressed. I am not sure. I do know that it goes down for a variety of reasons, including the weather. So. I have a serious, uh, silly question. Um, the locker thing. Are you guys going to need to make a locker pass to where you can move it from one set of lockers to the next, to the next, to the next? There are a couple of parks that are already doing the, basically you purchase a day pass and you can move from this one to this one to this one to this one. Is there any, any indication that KD or Cedar Fair is going to be doing that? I know that there is a pain point and that we have heard that people want it. <laughs> and that is, I think, all I can say because other than that, I don't know. They're aware. Good. <laughs> I, I may have heard about something in another park. That's why I'm like, I, yeah, maybe. I don't know about it happening at King's Dominion right now. Did, did that answer? Enough. Is there anything new coming to Hunt this year? It is our 20th anniversary, you guys, of Hunt. I'm so excited. I used to not like Hunt, and then I started working here, and I love it. Uh, I hope you guys do too. We do have some things up our sleeve, so stay tuned. We will be announcing that sometime this year. Anymore. Do you have any plans for adding more coasters open during Christmas Town? For any more roller coasters to open during Winter Fest, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, no, 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 no. I was just making sure I heard the question. I automatically correct people. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I know we, we talked about it. I know people aren't upset that we, there's only been two each year. Um, that said, I know Winterfest is about the experience. It's not about the rides. I know. I know. But it, it really is. There's so much to see and do and eat and drink. And it's all just so fantastic that, you know, we, our focus really is on the experience. Um, so I don't know about adding more roller coasters. Um, but I know, you know, with the weather conditions, sometimes it can be trickier to get more than that open. Can you guys get uh, together with Cedar Point and basically upgrade the way that you're doing operations on Twisted Timbers to be like what they're doing with Steel Vengeance? Say that again. Cedar Point is using a hand stamp for Steel Vengeance. It's a lot smoother than Twisted Timbers. Did you guys get with them? and coordinate that effort so that operations with Twisted Timbers goes a lot smoother than the parts. I'm not aware of any changes this year, but I do know that our operations teams talk to each other very frequently on what works and what doesn't, um, and how to make sure that we are being efficient and optimal with the time. I think, it was a, I think we had like a ticket pass, and there was hand stamps at one point. Um, Speaking on Winterfest, does Cedar Fair, um, are they possibly going to open sooner? You know, the, the 5 p.m. seems quite late in the evening. At King's Dominion, I don't know because they haven't finalized the calendar, but I do know that Carowinds this year did uh, test opening earlier during the day. I think they opened at either 2 or 3 on certain days. Could we see any, any new additional shows this year? Any new shows throughout the season or just during Winterfest? I do believe that there are some new shows coming this year. Circle will be back. Um, I was just curious, is there uh, any real reason or a particular reason or important reason um, that Flat of the Year doesn't really run in the dark anymore? I am not sure.
Any more questions? All right. Well, Maggie, thank you so much. Thank you all.